Gun violence is an issue plaguing our city. Kansas City is bringing back an old program to reduce homicides, hoping to see sustained success. I'm Abby Dodge with KSHB 41. I'll walk you through what focus deterrence is and how the city plans to improve the short lived success of the program's predecessor. They're shooting guns, but they don't even know who they're shooting at. Even Kansas City's children are no stranger to violence. In a week span earlier this year, three were shot. I've been crying a lot, like more than I've cried ever. It's just the fact that I have to come to school every day and live with the fact that I can't really see my best friend anymore. Family and friends mourn their loss. Stop the killing. It's too many families that's hurt. Community advocates question, what else can be done? Everybody wants to do a rally, do balloon releases and prayer vigils, and I'm trying to figure out which one of those are working. There was a program called Casey Nova, the No Violence Alliance, around 2012 that had great success for a short period of time. It was based on the focused deterrence model. That same model is the basis for a new initiative, Save KC, this time with a greater importance on community involvement. Everyone in Kansas City should care about violent crime, and we all have to work together to stop it. Leaders from all facets of the city make up the Save KC board, including people doing violence prevention work. Just being transparent as much as possible with the community about what this looks like. Some of KCPD's highest ranking officers see it as a new way of life. It shouldn't even be just a, a, a program. This is a new way of doing business. Focus deterrence has a few key elements, identifying a problem and bad actors, offering support, and if that support isn't taken, law enforcement following through. Before this idea was implemented around 2012, Kansas City saw homicide rates of more than 100 per year. That number might seem low right now, but at the time, it was a record high. Leaders credit that record low number to focus deterrence. We covered the program extensively during the height of its success. Nova, Kansas City's first iteration of focus deterrence was heavily focused on enforcement, rounding up violent offenders who didn't want to leave their way of life behind after leaders brought them in to hear their message. They're called call-ins. Nova asked people who were linked to offenders to listen to their message and take social service support. This is your opportunity. Take the change we're offering, offering you. If you don't, there'll be consequences. In 2014, we asked how police know who to call into those meetings. You look at the networks and determine who is the most central person to the network to deliver messages to. The tactic worked for a while. As leadership changed, the program fell apart, and so did its success. I talked to people who were integral parts of the program years ago about where Kansas City went wrong and what they learned from failure. Those who were close to the NOVA program said when each department and service works together, there's great success. And the homicide rates support that idea. Kansas City hasn't seen fewer than 100 homicides since 2014 when leaders used focused deterrence. But the need for teamwork is also its downfall. You have multiple partners uh, involved, uh, all working from different angles, goals, budgets, leadership cycles. Ken Novak was a Nova researcher, now working in the private sector. He worked alongside former mayor Sly James. What do you think took so long to revisit this idea that had such great success? I think the program broke down because of politics and personalities. Some people made their way out of city offices, but others still remain, now taking a front seat. Many people who are still, uh, you know, working in very influential positions saw it work the first time. But with the knowledge to know some elements need to change. People need to understand that public safety isn't about just about locking people up. It's about preventing the situation from arising. One criticism of Casey Nova was a lack of community involvement. Leaders hope to change that with Save KC. The community was sort of um, left out or uh, afterthought. Reverend Darren Faulkner has been a part of crime reduction conversations for decades. And I think when the community sees themselves as a part of the strategy that's working, 
uh, we'll see more buy-in to the strategy that's being implemented. He says community partners should be a part of every meeting and call-in to keep progress moving forward. Darren himself was involved in violence as a kid. By 15, he had both been shot and shot someone. The call-ins, if they're done uh, with respect and dignity to those who are called in, they can be very impactful because it's a message that they wouldn't otherwise get. Save KC has been in the planning stages for quite some time. The program hasn't hosted its first call in yet. They plan to do so in the next couple of weeks. We will continue to report on this evolving tactic to reduce violent crime in our city. Abby Dodge, KSHB 41 News.